Hello Joyful Tribe. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going on an amazing journey to learn about a very special person. We're going to meet Muhammad Ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, the brilliant mind who invented something called algebra. Get ready to travel back in time and discover how his incredible work helps us today. Yalla! Our story begins over a thousand years ago in a place called Khwarazm, which is in modern-day Uzbekistan in Central Asia. Muhammad was born around the year 780. As a kid, he was very curious and loved to learn about the world around him. He spent hours looking at the stars, reading books, and solving puzzles. Little did he know, he would grow up to change the world of mathematics forever. When he grew up, al Khwarizmi moved to the city of Baghdad. A big place full of smart people and lots of books. In Baghdad, he worked at a special place called the House of Wisdom. It was like a giant library where the smartest people from around the world came to learn and share ideas. al Khwarizmi studied many subjects. Including the stars. Maps. And of course, mathematics. He loved finding new ways to solve problems. One day, al Khwarizmi started thinking about how to solve math problems in an easier way. He wrote a book called The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing. This book introduced a new way of solving problems using steps and symbols, which we now call Algebra. This book was very important because it made it easier for people to solve problems with numbers. It explained how to use a method called balancing to solve equations. But how does algebra work? Imagine you have a magical apple tree. One day you picked some apples from the tree but you can't remember how many you picked. Let's call the number of apples you picked X. Now, here's the fun part. A friendly squirrel gives you three more apples as a gift. So you have some apples you picked, that's X apples, plus the three apples from the squirrel. Later, you count all your apples and find out you have ten apples in total. But wait, you still can't remember how many apples you picked from the tree. How do we figure it out? That's where algebra comes to the rescue. Let's solve the apple mystery with algebra. Let's set up the equation. We write down x plus 3 equals 10. To find out how many apples you picked, we need to solve x. We do this by subtracting the 3 squirrel apples from the total 10 apples. So x plus 3 minus 3 equals 10 minus 3. So x equals 7. You picked 7 apples from the tree. So algebra is like a magical tool that helps us solve mysteries and find out unknown numbers. In this fun apple story, Algebra helped us figure out that you picked seven apples. Isn't that cool? Today, 
algebra is a big part of math. We use it in schools to help kids understand math better. Engineers, scientists, and even computer programmers use algebra to create and invent new things. Without algebra, we wouldn't have many of the amazing things we have today, like computers and smartphones. Now, here are a few fun facts about Al-Khwarizmi. Did you know that the word algorithm comes from his name? An algorithm is a step-by-step -step way to solve a problem just like in algebra. And did you know that Al-Khwarizmi's work also helped improve our understanding of geography? He wrote a book that included a detailed map of the known world at the time which was used by explorers and scholars for many years. Thank you for learning about Mohammed Ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi and the incredible invention of algebra. Remember, you can solve problems and discover amazing things, just like al-Khwarizmi did. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories and fun learning adventures. See you next time, Joyful Tribe. Keep exploring and learning new things. Masalam.